Hello and welcome to Das Mod Product Weekly Update. Today we'll have a field trip to a museum. Surprised? Well, the story is I still getting telephone calls from time to time when people saying, listen, I'd like to have some fun project and I still have this old Pentium machine or old AMD computer. I would like to water cool it just for the sake of it. And uh, not so easy to find any parts for those um, old components anymore. So what I did, I scouted around for different liquidations, liquidation places and uh, I was able to collect some parts that actually you can water cool really old computers. And today we we'll have a quick look on one coolant block and two aqua computer blocks for very old systems. And I would like to show you how blocks looked a while ago, for those who recently joined water cooling, you probably have a good idea how the new products look like. But let's look how the water cooling gets started a few years ago. Everybody familiar with coolant's uh, CPU blocks? 370 is the current model, we just recently had a 360, and maybe some of you still remember 350 block. But this one is uh, called CPU 300. I don't know if anybody recalls this model, but uh, let's, let's have a look what it can done. Just look at my cheat sheet, I have print out from the store here. This beauty can water cool socket 768, which is the uh, original um, Pentium. IMD socket 462A, I don't know what it is. Socket 370, I don't know what it is either. Also, AM2, AM3. AM2 Plus, I'm AMD 339-947-54, that sounds familiar, Intel 775, that's more or less recent, and Intel 603-604, that's I believe a Xeon uh, type of socket for, I remember it from the server farms uh, that I used to deal with in my previous business, so, well, that's a pretty impressive list of um, CPUs that this block supports, but let's look how it looks. Here what we have is inside, block itself, mounting brackets, old style, somebody might still remember what those are for. And for those of you who was just born yesterday and not as old as myself, this is basically what kind of heatsink we used to have on a CPU. And digging from my collection of gold, this is the uh, actual Pentium chip itself. You can see that um, heatsink was just simply glued uh, to the chip itself and um, the mounting mechanism was simple uh, metal bracket that pressing CPU uh, heatsink to the CPU. And this is the same idea. You have the bracket pressing thing to the to the CPU itself. So other side you can see the big surface because the chip was pretty big so you see it's uh, just cover not even fully this massive chip is supposed to have here and uh, the chamber is very simple check out the size of those gigantic pyramids inside. This is like cast iron made bottom. Huge. I don't know if you can see it maybe from the side. See that? It's crazy. <laughs> Anyways, so that's what you have. You have block mounting paste and if you want to water cool the system, really old system, yes you still still can do that. So pretty cool. Well, let's look at what German engineering can bring to the table. What I have here is a Cuplex Pro Revision 2 by Aqua Computer. Rare case when I don't have a completely crushed packaging. And uh, looking on this beauty, it supports a few things. Pentium 4 or Celeron sockets 478, 
Semfron, I can't say it, you know. And socket 754, socket 939, and socket 940. That's what we have here. Let's look inside. Well, all I have inside is this beautiful block. I don't see any screws, no mounting mechanism. Not sure what's going on here. Uh, but we have the block itself, which is good. The bottom is covered with a sticker and we can see this is a chamber inside. I'll give you a closer look. Hope I hope it will get into the focus sooner or later. Well this camera so, is sometimes drive me nuts, but anyways, here's a chamber you can see um, array of pins in the middle where inlet is and water goes around and get out. Also I'd like to notice that um, the threads, it's not our typical G quarter G threads, you can see everywhere. This is a 1 8 threads, so you need a special adapter or special um, type of fittings. And I only discovered that when I got a block uh, inside. So after I got the blocks, uh, some time ago I actually have to scout and uh, find the adapters. Some I still made by Bits Power. And also got some bars from Upper Kako computer, so we can at least uh, use this if uh, there's anybody who actually wants to do that. Yeah, that's how it looks. Looks very nice. In spite of the fact that it's very old block, I think design itself is uh, pretty cool. Some would remind me what XSPC did with the new Raystorm block, just without this uh, metal cover thing. So that's pretty good. Well, let's look on the very last block I have on a pile for you today. Well, let's look at my last block I have here for you. Aqua Computer Cuplex XT A64. Supports mostly AMD stuff. AM2 754 939. That's already recent thing. 940. Socket F. Whatever it is. Don't remember. And that's it, no Intel. So let's look what's inside and uh, we'll check it out. All right, this is what I have here. The bag with uh, a lot of screws and mounting. So this one seems more complete. And the block itself. The design is pretty nice. I really like how it looks. So uh, let me try to bring it closer and hopefully focus will stay. Sorry for my bandage thing, it's really driving me nuts. Um, okay, I think we still have a focus. It's pretty elaborate design. I really like how this looks. You know, sometimes I have a feeling when I look on those two blocks that it seems like design goes backwards. The current blocks sometimes look so boring, it's just unbelievable. And this is there was a lot of love in this, this thingy. Not sure how it works also. So we can see that there is some sort of inlet. And after that, uh, water either goes into those uh, little holes or coming out of them. I have no idea how it works. But it looks pretty cool. And it's really, really heavy. I can tell you that. I like this blue, um, blue color of uh, acrylic glass. So bottom is covered as usual. Uh, base pretty thick interesting too. So that's what I have for you for today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, back to the future or whatever type of video. I have some fun looking on those myself and I thought maybe I share with you.